Hi, I'm Margo Posey, president of the Dallas-Fort Worth Minority Supplier Development Council. And we're here at Access 2017, the largest business expo targeted to minority businesses and corporations and public sector agencies in the entire North Texas region. I am fortunate to be here with Laura Cagle Hinojosa. She is the statewide manager of the HUB program. Laura, tell us just a little bit about yourself. I know that you've been with the state for over 21 years, yes, but you're now in a new position as of March 1st. Just tell us about that. Yes, ma'am. I have been with the state of Texas since 1991, and most of those years I have been in the, in, in the capacity of the HUB program. And I have been a hub coordinator for various agencies and um, uh, been involved with the hub program in one, in one capacity or the other. And I have seen it evolve into the program that we have now, something that we can be very proud of. Absolutely. And we're really proud of the fact that for the ninth year, um, the state agencies, along with Senator Royce West, has been a sponsor of Access um, Business Expo. Again, largest business expo of its type, and certainly part of it is because of the state agency's involvement. So we really appreciate you being here as, long, as well as the 80 83. Plus, oh, 83 state agencies. We have agencies. 83 state agencies and universities here in Texas. So it's a perfect opportunity to network. We have all of them under one roof. And uh, we have, as of Thursday, we had over 12, uh, we had 1,283 bids. But on Friday, we had all the last minute bids that came in. And so I'm sure we have over 1,300 bids available for people to bid on and, and to try to get a contract with the state of Texas. That is great. And the wonderful thing about having it here at Access, you actually award those contracts before you leave uh, tomorrow afternoon. So you op we opened up the uh, expo at 1 o'clock, and people have up until about 2 o'clock to submit those bids. 2 o'clock, yeah. 2 or 3, depending on the time that they put on their on the bids, on the actual bids. Okay. And then by about 5, five o'clock, we're going to hear those numbers, correct? We will, we will have a tentative amount for you to be able to announce. I know in 2016, we didn't have as many bids as we have this year, but the state agencies awarded over $2.7 million in awards. So what are we expecting this year? Where are we going? Are we going, are we going to hit that $3 million? Are we going to hit that $2.8 million? What are we doing? Laura? Well, we're hoping. I'm seeing some larger bids and larger opportunities than what we, what we had in the past. I've seen some uh, professional services. We have a uh, contract out there to audit a program for a CPA, and we, I'm seeing some site preparation uh, contracts. So um, we may, just because of the type of contracts that we're bringing this year, it's not just office supplies, it's promotional items, it's professional services, it's contracting, uh, construction contracts. You know, it seems like we get more and more, uh, every year that comes by, we, we are able to, to figure out how to bring more and more opportunities to access. Laura, thanks again for being here today. We look forward to the results of Access 2017 and the State of Texas Hub Bid Spot Fair. Thank you. Well, thank you for inviting us. Absolutely.